Oh, oh don't don't worry, pupper. I spit in its face and didn't react, so we're safe. <laughs> <laughs> he says to the dire wolf that it's significant. Look at here, James. Can I... there, there you go. Yeah. Now I can hear you. Okay, what about the other door? Does it have runes also? Yes, as you approach the door, it also has the same set of eleven runes. So, <laughs> noticing this uh, with uh, actually no, I don't notice that. Never mind. Uh, did I, I say to my party, what about the door to the north? Okay. Do we want to go try that same rune combination on the door to the north and see if that place... I mean, I don't like dancing forward thinking there might be enemies coming from behind. I'm not I pressing the runes. I oh, still can't fucking die. Die. always down for volunteering. We need advances just a little bit to see what's on the other side of this room. Does Hockey, is that a similar door in front of us? Yeah, that's just what James asked. That door oh, okay. has the same runes on it, yeah. Um, Reed right. calls over to uh, Zixon and says, I think at this point, if we go either direction, there may be enemies behind us. Hey, Zixon, what's the symbol for death? Please don't tell him that. Well, Please, if you Reed. guys really need to know, I do have it in the... Uh, I did a quick little edits in... Uh, no, in, no, I'm, I'm in asking him. Yeah, in character, Andrew. Yeah. In um, I'd say to Adric, you should press those two that opened up the, this door. All right, which one? I'm that was the know. first two? Uh, so yeah, Unveil was. Prime? Just in case, right, as I'm... he's doing this, uh, Reed steps it's in here. Unveil Reed Prime. Here. I'm a punch and unveil. Okay, it lights up blue. Oh, punch and prime. Okay, it lights up for half a second, and then they both blink red ones. It didn't work. All right, then unveil... Um... Hey, hockey. Unveil forces. So the first and the second. I mean, the first and the third one. All right, I'll punch in unveil and go one, two, three, and punch in forces. Okay, sorry. Uh, you punch in unveil and forces? Yes. Okay. Uh, you punch in unveil, it lights up blue. You punch in forces, and it blinks for just a second, then they both turn red and blink twice. Stop well, again. pressing the button. Hey, hockey. Uh, I want to search this assassin guy uh, to see if uh, he has uh, some sort of clue to how to open these doors. Uh, the only other guess I could give you would be Unveil Spirit. To Dratan, who's insisting I stop, I'm just doing what I'm told. Well, stop doing what you're told. Okay, say that again, Kai. What did you want? Uh, I want to uh, investigate that uh, assassin and see if he has some sort of clue to how to open those doors. Okay. I rolled for uh, it. I got 20. Okay, you reach down, and as your hand approaches and begins to touch it, he melts away into nothing. Um, oh. So, no, he's got nothing. Nothing to tell us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, great. So, uh, Zixo, I, I would love to do your suggestion, but Dratan finally grew a spine and apparently wants to do something. I have an idea. All right, well, hot shot, all yours. Reed kind of glances over to Tan and says, you know what, how about I stand in front and do it to make sure you don't get hurt again? I agree with that. What would you like me to touch? Hi. Life <laughs> and time. Oh, well, fuck you, I could have pressed that too, you little gnome pe half Okay, piece so of Reed just verifies with Zixo real quick which buttons those are, and then we'll touch the life followed by the time buttons. Okay, you touch life and it lights up blue, and you touch um, time, you said? Uh, yes. Okay, yes. Time, and you hear a little rumble, and sh 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 shunk. And, and then it's... Okay. Let me know. If, let me know if I have time to speak after that. I'm gonna ready my boy and arrow uh, at this point, just to oh, be. One second, it's not. Let me get rid of this. I am having amazing luck today. <laughs> just, just wait. I, I'm, I'm gonna respond to this as soon as I make sure that I'm not being attacked. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you see a large sparkling orb in the middle of the room. Uh, sparkles dark blue and purple, shimmering to an unknown pattern. <clears throat> One second. So, before Reed even moves, he turns to Tan and said, That's not luck. You've done that twice. Where'd you get that? 
Are you I'm are you hearing the whispers off. louder now? No, I'm not. I'm basing it off of what we're surrounded by. We were surrounded by nothing hmm. earlier, and you came up with uh, what was it? Unveil and what was the first one? Unveil right. Prime. Prime. Yeah, there was there was nothing around us. So where did you get that from? That one came from the caves above. And there what was, was the winner at here? What was it again? Unveil Prime. No, Prime was lifetime. lifetime. Lifetime, huh? Reed does not look oh, satisfied it... by this at all, but given that he don't, he's not seeming to get much else, he's going to step forward a few feet. Well, Adric is transfixed on this uh, this purple blue orb thing, and you said it was stonework. No. Oh, I thought you said it was a blue purple stone that meh. No, it, it's it's shimmering. It's just an orb. Oh, um, all right. I guess I, I I would like to see if I can identify what this thing is made out of. Okay. Roll a perception check, or unless you want to get close, you can roll an investigation check then. Invest. Okay. Well, shit. I guess we're gonna go with that nine I rolled. Okay. Um, as far as you can tell, it's an orb. It's it's lights that are encompassed in this metal framework uh, that are just dancing around. Can't really tell anything else. Reed, as you step in, you see to the left. A large circle on the floor okay. with uh, an interesting pattern. There's another one um, further on on the same side of the wall. Okay, uh, Reed's eyes are probably going to be on that orb. Just out of curiosity, does it do anything as they enter the room? It's shimmering. The lights maintain their erratic pattern. You don't notice any uh, discernible difference in the activity, the speed, or the the frequency of the lights or anything. Okay. Since there was no real response, he's going to step towards the pattern and uh, okay. kind of kneel down as best he can in his armor to kind of take a closer look at that. Okay. Uh, I would like to kind of do some sort of measure of investigation. What would you like me to do for that? Yeah, just do an investigation. Okay. And it's reasonable. As far as you can tell, as far as you can tell, it's just it's stonework in the floor. With uh, with an odd pattern, you can't tell if there's any movable pieces or anything else. Uh, Reed's gonna call back. Hey Zixo, do you think you can still speak uh, speak that language? Yes, it hasn't been an hour yet. Can you come look okay. at this? Does this look like it's part of it? Okay, I'm gonna inspect that. Are you gonna step on it? <laughs> no, sorry, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go there. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm very sorry. Give me just a couple minutes. Uh, okay. My son just woke up. I'm going to deal with him. I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem at all. all. Right. Ooh, dire wolf. Easy. He's, he's going to deal with his son. I oh, said, boy. dire wolf. Easy. There's a passage to the south. He's going to deal with his son. Dorothy. Yeah. I mean, I'm concerned. I mean, to be fair, it is like. They'll teach you to wake up at like one two, in the morning. Yeah, 2 20 in the morning. So, yeah, my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We if, do not condone beating your children. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's going to be the specific response he's going to have, but I think there's going to be a response to waking up at 2.20 in the morning and bothering. <sighs> <laughs> fucking stretch. This comes over there, Lasan. let me tell you about this door that one of our, yeah. one of our adventurers <laughs> just opened. Do you want to know what happened to him when he nice opened surprise. up weird doors? You shouldn't do that. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Terribly sorry about that. No problem. We were just joking. Oh, about we were it. expecting you gone for a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. See, I was just, I was just winding up for the terrible jokes I made about. Yep. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that was surprisingly quick. So immediately, as Zixo comes over, uh, Reed suddenly looks startled for a moment. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a good look at that thing. I'm going to back back out of the room a little bit. Okay. Um, you don't I... you don't notice anything about it. Your comprehend language just doesn't help you at all. Okay. So all of us start hearing whispers? I assume? Um, 
Zixel raises his hand. I am hearing whispers. Reed slowly but nods. But when I back over back him. out of the room, I stopped to hear. I was not hearing whispers once I came back out of the room. Uh, can I tell what the whispers are saying? Nope. Hockey, those whispers. Damn. Those were to start specifically when Reed moved into the room, or when he moved towards that. Uh... When when you entered the room, I was trying to type okay. with one hand, and it wasn't working, so I had to put my my son who I was holding. I had to put him down. So just had to make sure. Uh, Reed glances over at the others, and then slowly around the room, and he says, "I think, if I remember correctly, the uh, the woman in the inn said that the whisper started when something." shining like a strike of a god hit the ground. I think this orb may fit that description. I'm going to enter the room. Oh boy, does something happen? <laughs> Everybody goes silent because I think all of us assume something's going to happen. Yeah, well, when the crazy guy is in the room, does he hear double the voices? Who knows? <laughs> oh! And that sound in the background starts playing. All of a sudden, things start activating in the ruins. <laughs> oh shoot! I forgot the music. I apologize. <laughs> no, don't please! I, I want to keep that enough. <laughs> I had it queued up at the beginning, and uh... Uh, the, the the music sets the mood. <laughs> uh, hockey was yeah, there. The a, um, is, nice. is there any response when uh? When Dretton enters the room? There is. Oh, okay. You guys just don't hear it. <laughs> so I, just, I think we we're all waiting to hear if he said something on that. Uh, so, um, Reed kind of turns to uh, Dretton with kind of raised eyebrows, but doesn't say anything. How big is that big, that jewel in the center? Like the orb? Tall, yeah, like the how tall is it? Uh, it's about it's about thirty feet tall. Thirty feet tall. Huh. Huge. It's All bigger right. Than any jewel I've got. I'm gonna do something orb. done. I'm gonna touch it. Oh boy. I agree. That is okay. dumb. I cheer him on. Oh boy, the music stopped. Oh god, here we go. I'm still a little salty that he told me to stop, you know, button pushing, so I look as fast as he wants. Uh okay, you reach out uh and you attempt to what are you touching the metal apparatus or the lights or, or what? I'm touching the metal apparatus. Okay. Uh you reach out, you touch it, and the lights uh seem to sort of collect around that point um inside of the the metal. Uh, on on the other side of the metal, they sort of swarm and collect more there. They're more dense there, but uh, other than that, nothing else happens. Oh, hmm. so we need one on each side of it. So one Adrian person volunteers. Uh, is it uh, straight across from uh, there, or would it be a diagonal from there? Uh, one more I am here. touching right here, so I'll be going across to that spot. The paladin, uh, well, like while, while you guys are maneuvering, looks around and goes. <laughs> She said that light hit just a few days ago. These ruins couldn't have appeared in just a few days. I'm going to stick my arm into the little bit of light that is on this side here, so... I wish I could fucking talk. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can stop whatever you uh, want, bro. Hockey can eat. Yeah. Like, I can't speak a language. But the, Whenever you can lift your leg and start trying to write something on the wall. But, oh, but that would take time. <laughs> uh, so, Adric, you reach up and, and you're touching the orb now, too, on the opposite end? Yep, up to the hilt. Just stick my arm up to the elbow. <laughs> okay. Jeez, uh, the, lights, the lights all retreat away from you. Son of a bitch. And Reed immediately oh, calls like out, everybody stop music moving. Timing. That is really good timing, actually. Oops, yes. Uh, so, Reed glances around for a moment, like kind of wild-eyed, and then, you know, says, uh, the lights just flashed, just as I said that. Like, they, they, they're, 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 they're moving for a moment. 
Uh, Hockey, is there a specific point that would have done that, or is it all the walls? Nope, it was just out of the corner of your eye. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to move over to here and cont- and grab on grab a hold of the apparatus as well. Like, so you remove your hand and go and move it over yeah, to that part? Yeah, like I'm moving across over to here. Okay. Uh, the lights uh, come and collect next to next to where you're touching. I'm gonna move in and uh, I'm gonna touch tap Zixo well. on the shoulder. Right. Here. And point at the oh, oh, Hold, hold like on, you're the... talking. Both of you guys are talking at the same time. Kai, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna just uh, walk in and uh, touch the op as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with with the hand on your wrist guard or not? Uh, with that, no, no, not using that one yet. Uh, I'm using okay, my with your other one. Hand. Okay. Uh, yeah. the lights retreat away from you like they did for Adric. Okay. And what were you gonna do, LSR? I was gonna tap his shoulder and like, how how would how would a wolf motion magic? You were. I don't think they'd be able magic. to very well. The downside of wall check. I guess I could, I could, I can try to imitate like scorching ray or something. <laughs> you realize you're a wolf, right? Or I, or I could point like to where we were. It's as an indication to what he did earlier. I say to Adric, right. move one square north and see if the lights collect on your hand instead of. Flying. All right. I'm gonna go here and uh, touch that metal apparatus again. Okay. The uh, lights retreat away from you, Kai. You are now hearing whispers. Double son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, all right. Hockey. Uh, at this point, I put both of my hands on the ho- orb, on the apparatus. Yeah. Okay. Your both left hand, the lights uh, on your left hand, the lights still retreat away from you. Um, on your right hand, yeah, the lights uh, begin to swirl madden- maddeningly fast Ooh, uh, around that area. <laughs> uh, I notice this. Right, guys. Magic must Some be the key. Something. I would like to cast the light cantrip on my hand and touch it again. One final time. Okay. You cast light on your hand and stick it in and the lights remove, retreat away from you. Triple bitch. I'll take a step back and give up. Hockey, as they're doing that, Reed's going to try to... Uh, where specifically, like you said, at the corner of his eye, where specifically at the corner of his eye? Uh, near the patterns or near the other walls? As you said it... Um, the the walls, the ceiling, the floor on the periphery of your vision seemed to flicker, and as you as you tried to follow it, it rippled further along on your periphery. Is it doing it constantly? Every, everything you it... looked at, everything no, no, it stopped. It, it happened once. Everything you looked at was solid, but on the periphery of your vision, it looked like it was rippling. Okay. Uh, Reed's gonna turn to Zixo and say, "You you had a way to detect magic. Do you have a way to get rid of it?" No. I'm like it is spell magic. Unfortunately, I I have not learned that spell yet. We have not come across uh, it in the form of a scroll. We don't want to do uh, that. At this point, guys, like uh, it may be I, illusionary. Uh, Reed nods in agreement to that. Mm, wouldn't an illusion have gone away this. since we're physically handling it? What you doing, Kai? Uh, I'm like. Taking a step back because I don't okay. like it. Okay. Do we remember what Stratab's vision was? Tentacles? Blackness? A pool of water? I stick my hand doom. in the pool Jesus. of water. Oh, here, right, here we go. Well, yeah, pool, pool of water. And he's I putting his no hand into it. Onto the apparatus. I am now putting my hand onto it. Onto the actual gem gel thing. The, the inside? Yeah. Okay, the, the lights collect around your hand. It uh, it feels almost like uh, tiny insect wings that are fluttering around your hand. Uh, as he's doing that, Reed's going to look to Zixo and say, "As I when, I when I called out that I thought that this came about too fast, the wall started shimmering, kind of on like the edge of my vision. Um, I don't I don't think this place is real. Um, well, I, I mean, we're that, here. Uh, can I roll Arcana? After... After Reed says that? Just... Sure. What do you... What do you? I mean, like, once again, don't tell me what you're going to roll. What are you trying to find out? 
try to disbelieve. <laughs> try to disbelieve the <laughs> well, yeah, what, I was saying. what you're seeing. Well, I want yes. to believe. Okay, that wouldn't be Arcana. Go ahead, roll an intelligence oh. saving throw. Intelligence saving throw. Okay. Okay. Uh, as you focus on what Reed said and and begin to try and um, disbelieve what's around you, the walls begin to shimmer and melt a little bit, replaced by odd-looking metal walls, um, some weird formations that are completely alien to you, um, configurations of walls and structures that uh, you do not understand it all until finally your mind snaps back to uh, what you're seeing now, the stone walls, the sort of temple look type thing. Well, I'm gonna let Zixo know what just happened. Reed, do you have a rope on you? And Reed um, nods and then says, I'm not giving it to you. There is no way, you're, uh, there's no way I'm helping you go into that. Hey, friendo, you need a rope? Hey, guys, we have a passage leading south, you know, right? And we have other yeah. doors. So we've wasted a lot of time here talking about this thing. Maybe we should explore our environment and make sure that there's no other threats close by. I'd say, I'd say um, this thing's pretty newsworthy. Yeah, but I've got to tell Zixo that this this place is sort of like an illusion. Did it happen in the room that we're standing in? Um, I'm, I'm, oh, but right, I'm telling just... you is that we're wasting a lot of time here, and we have a village of Baltimore Cove who's relying on us to get a message through. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. So either move on, or you know, I mean, we should explore this place. If if this thing isn't doing anything, if if you don't want to start smashing with your hammer, then let's go through the other doors or go south. Yeah, uh, I agree with this because I already don't like this thing, and I want to get away from it. Yeah. Is there a large enough spot in this thing that I can climb through the metal? That you can climb through it? Yeah. Uh, how tall are you again? Three feet? Yeah. Yeah, you probably could fit through. I'm going to climb into the gel. Uh, I see him doing that. I'm going to scurry over and say, hey, at the very least, let me, you know... Let's tie it down to something solid. I've got a rope here. Put this around your waist. Everyone hears the whispers stop with their sort of babbling, and there's now just sort of a monotone hiss in the background. Uh, uh, Dr uh, Dutan, I don't, I don't, I don't think you should do that. I think you need to back off of that, like right yeah, now. Doesn't like us doing that. At this point, Kai steps back. For the more. <laughs> well, if these so whispers... Ellis, you guys can even hear the whispers at this point now. Oh boy. Well, if these whispers don't want us doing that. I guess that means we're in the right direction. We might be angering something. Uh, well, well yeah. that's pretty obvious. D LSR, d did Reed hear you confirm that the room is illusioned? Yeah, I, I, I spoke to it in normal voice to Zig, so I'm assuming you would be able to hear it. Okay. What do you mean worthy? As you guys are deliberating, you hear a shunk, and the door behind you reappears. All right, I'm gonna straight up yell up, yell out that this room is an illusion. To the door everyone. behind us that just reappeared. Does it have runes on, on the inside? Nope. Listen, guys, we gotta get our asses moving or make a decision about what you want to do. I mean, we can sit here, and I bet you in a few minutes, the door right you know, will separate LSR and I from you guys. So, make a decision get what you want to do. Yeah, but I'm gonna... After he says that, I'm gonna be like... But let it be known that this room is an illusion. I'm gonna say out loud, what do you mean worthy? Uh, come again. Oh. Dratan, that was loud, did I hear that? He said, what do you mean, worthy? You're all right, little buddy. I know. I heard him. Jatan, who are you talking to? I believe I'm talking to the master. Guy steps back for the... <laughs> Help me. <laughs> uh, Reed's going to grant the Zixo and say, is... You said there was a door. Is ours... We can't leave through there anymore? Um, 
I correct? In, in what, sorry? Hathrob? <laughs> I'm saying, oh. am I correct? Hathrob? How the hell you pronounce that? <laughs> Hathrob. Hathrob. Is it around this time Reed's going to try to go and grab Dratan and pull him away from that orb? Aren't I currently inside the thing? That's Yeah, that you're, is a question. Yeah, you're going to climb it. I came up and said tie rope on yourself. Or no, something. You, you did not actually climb through. You're still outside. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. So Reed's going to move to about, like, here and reach out to try to grab something on the halfling to pull him away from that? Uh, if he resists, you contest the strength check. Yeah, I'm resisting. Okay. Okay, gonna go for the strength check then. Reed, you better not lose in an arm wrestling competition. <laughs> well, about that. Ooh. You, you need to... <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, okay. You okay. had to say something, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, one one. One. All right, you've uh, you've grabbed onto him. Did I just see a slap fight develop? <laughs> <laughs> Would you let me go? Wait, 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 wait. Second. Uh, you you've grabbed onto him. Oh, no, I'm, so Tan said something. Oh. Leave me be. Uh, Re kind of tries to secure his hold and then shakes his head and says, "You're talking to something that isn't there. It's gotten no worse the here. closer you've gotten to that orb." We need to leave that orb. We have, I'm going to suggest the body. We need to get out of here quickly. <sighs> and as he sighs, Reed's going to try to literally carry him towards that south exit. I am going to fight it the entire time. <laughs> that be a grapple or strength? Uh, because he's grappled... Um, well, how would that work? Because you can drag him at half movement. Yeah, you drag him at half movement, and then at every every point in that, he would have a chance to save against breaking your, so your grapple. Turn, it goes to combat, and on his turn, he would have a chance to break the grapple. Okay. Um. So, by the way, so if, hold on. If, if you guys, if you're really gonna grab him, go both of you roll initiative. Okay. <laughs> okay. Didn't do it on there though. It's 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 cool. <laughs> Oh. So you, you're going first on that. Yeah. Okay, so you have a chance to break it. Do I use strength or dex? I assume strength. You can choose whichever. Oh, I can, huh? Interesting. 21. <laughs> of course. Okay. And uh, what is he rolling that against? I'm assuming it's my strength. Yeah, Yeah, it would be contested, so you roll your strength okay. now. We all know how this is going to go, but anyways. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, so James, help me out here. If it's a tie in a contest, nothing happens. I think you sit still. The person who forced the roll. So so, Dratan so, wins. Yeah. Okay. okay. I thought if it was a two players like... trying to accomplish something in a contest, if they tied, it would be as if nothing happened. Like if they both reached for a ring or something. Oh, well, you might be right about that. Hold on. Let's let's double check that. Because this is too good for me to just let Dratan <laughs> yeah. have another win on the roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where in the player's guide to look in that one. It's uh, under uh, contest. Oh, okay. Let me go look at that. I'm curious. <sighs> Skill checks while I'm getting to it. Yeah, the only thing I'm seeing is just contests in combat. I'm not seeing anything... Uh... About player versus Technically, player. this would count as in combat. Well, all it says is just occasionally contests will happen in combat. It doesn't actually say any rules or anything. Uh, let's see. I'm looking. Oh, contest. Um... Okay, they look under. There's this graph. Escaping a grapple. A uh, gra cr grappled creature can use its escape to action to escape. To do so, it must succeed on a strength or dexterity check contested by your strength and athletics check. It doesn't say about uh, ties, though. 
It's probably DM under, discretion, like always. Yeah, probably DM discretion. Probably DM discretion. It's on the, no, it's on the previous. Yeah, it's uh, DM's it discretion. A... Um, let's just call it a tie. You guys roll again. Okay, I'm cool with that. You should be because he's got. Well, there you go. Advantage. Read things. You get plus again. three. Yeah, like he gets plus Whoa. six or plus four. Okay, if the contest results in a tie, the situation remains the same as it was before the contest. Okay, so here's the So you were correct, Adric. So here's the question. Does that mean... So you would have moved five feet. So we would have moved five... Okay. That you're... So let's assume yeah, you... we move five feet, then that roll hits and he escapes. Does that sound good? Well, no, so, the so... goes first. His action was to try to break, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But it was oh, a tie, so, so the situation right. remains. It would go to your turn. You could move you him half move. your distance before it got back to his turn. Oh, okay. The, oh, okay, right. so... And then, and then we'll do use the result of that okay. last roll. Okay, so I get to move 15 feet, so I'd pull him to here. Then he'd succeed to escape. Right. Yes. Okay, I'm cool with that. Let's do that. <laughs> so... Okay. Magic are you going to... to are you going to continue to try and like? Are you going to regrapple, or are you guys out of combat? Uh, that's uh, that's a good question. Because it would be your turn now. Well, well I guess unless he moved well, no, away. He gets, but he gets six seconds on his turn, so he escapes and gets to do something. Yeah, his action. But yeah, he moves out of your range. You can grapple as an opportunity attack. Yeah, these are combat rules now. Uh, so if you continue to want to grab him and drag him. It's yeah, really up to you. Cause... Reed would be concerned enough about his behavior that he'd actually try again. Okay, so so uh, Dratan, on your turn, are you going to move away or are you going to stay where you're at? I am go If it's on my turn, I'm going to climb yes. inside that thing. Okay. Okay, so do I get a reaction to stop him or is he just going? Yeah, no, you get a reaction to stop him. Okay. So do another grapple, contested grapple check. So that's just that's just a strength, right? That's all we're trying right here. Yeah, and then I think he gets to choose dexterity or strength. Okay. It's your yeah. athletics roll. Did, oh, it's, it's athletics. It's yeah, it's, yeah, it's your athletics. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll. I, it should be. I don't think it's any different for me. Okay, it's that first one. For some reason, it lagged. Or whatever. You, no, no. So you said athletics. Okay, it's the second one, so I fail. So Post, probably. Probably. Only right. probably. Only Do probably. I roll athletic? Do I roll athletic? Well, so you can games. choose athletics or acrobatics. Oh, acro choose ac acrobatics. I'm gonna do acrobatics. Obviously, yeah. Oh my god! As usual, <laughs> that's god damn it! <laughs> Two natural twenties <laughs> in a row. He's on the roll. He's a he's a slippery half elf. He really a slippery is. Half slippery bastard is what he is. Okay. <laughs> and you're now going to climb into the thing. Yes. Okay. Do your movement. Kersploosh. Oh God. Okay. The, uh, <laughs> the lights, the lights gather around you, um, almost completely uh, covering your body, sort of like bees, you know, covering, covering a, you know, like the bee suits. Yeah. Okay. Nothing else happens. Nothing else happens. I'm gonna say, why don't you calm yourselves? Are you what done in there? You? You're acting weird. So are you done? If so, get out of that. Okay. Read your turn getting answers uh i'm gonna say that reed is so surprised by what just happened he is doesn't respond like skip the turn okay Tritan, your turn again <laughs> you're, you're still like in combat though you're gonna pursue yeah. this um that's a you know what i'm gonna say for now because reed is just so flabbergasted because he's gonna be so for probably longer than six seconds pull out of combat because he's gonna have to dive okay. in if we're gonna do anything else All right. All right. Yeah. But that was fun. All right. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. Yeah, it was fun to watch the crit twice in a it row. It was. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> the refuge and audacity bullshit that you continue to pull off. Yep. So, my newly acquainted friends, did you make yourself known to these others and stop them from pulling this bullshit again? And barring anything happening, Reed's going to look around for a moment and say, who are you talking to? I'm talking to the, to the source of the voices right now. 
currently the reason why we were here was to hunt down whatever thing that local inn said fell from the sky. And this is believed to be causing disembodied voices, which everybody here can hear right now. I can hear disembodied whispers. I'm not hearing voices. I don't hear anybody speaking. You guys deal that. with Dreden. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you deal with it. You guys deal with it. I'm Get fucking out of the done. Pool. Get out of the pool right now or you're grounded. <laughs> so just just to verify, because Rutan just jumped into the middle of a what, what we can only assume to be some sort of liquid. He's breathing right mm -hmm. now, right? Like he's, it's, he's not, it's not liquid. It's uh, he's he's in the middle of the metal apparatus, and this there's blue. It's it's like a blue shimmering field that he entered, and okay. there's these white bits of light that are swirling within, and now they're swirling all around him and collecting on him. Okay, out of out of pure curiosity, um, so having seen how. Would Reed have been able to see what the lights did with Adric? The fact they completely get, went away from him. See what do you mean? You would have you see him collect on him. Well, no, on I don't know when, if he's up. when Adric on Adric. I don't know. Yeah, when, he was on the other side of the orb. I doubt that you would have been able to see. Damn, Probably would have okay. seen Kai. Kai was on the same side as he was. Yeah, you could have seen Kai. The the conclusion Reed would have reached off of Adric. He can't reach off of Kai. Oh. Yeah, there, there's a thing Reed would have assumed if he could have seen uh, Adric, but he can't assume it. Because he didn't see it. By the way, hey guys, you... honestly, how much more time do you want to waste in this room? We're not wasting time at all. You'll have to ask, you'll have to ask the, you know, the if you wonder wish flying to Yeah, Reed just kind of gestures uh, to Dratan, you know. If you guys wish to continue... It'd be my guest. Well, I'm currently yeah, having another conversation. All the rest of us <clears throat> allow those who have I, uh, room to conduct it without interrupting them. I gesture uh, towards Zixo that there's a uh, also a stone uh, door over here. I like so we have got three. Excuse doors. me, I'm boring you. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> oh my! I'm be. I'm insulted. You're in a. <laughs> You're in a liquid blob, and I'm I'm, I'm not in a liquid blob. Good. I'm it's a bluish a, field. It's a field. Yeah. White light collecting around. And I'm also not talking to you. <laughs> oh, that's the last time I fucking back you up, but. <laughs> hey, that's a super swell ogre. Huh? Okay. What's everybody doing? I mean, at this point, Reed's uh, actually, I don't, I don't know what the hell he's going to be doing at this point, to be honest with you. Um, so I can say he definitely does not want to touch whatever the hell that is, and he does not want to leave Dretton behind, which seems to be what other people have to do, so I'm actually not sure how he's going to respond to that. Okay. Well, well LSR, Adrian... those, that's just a stone, it's a stone formation set into the floor. You can't really tell what it is. While Adric doesn't really have a real care for his own safety, he about others, so he doesn't really know what to do with Dretton either. He's just kind of keeping eyes on the buddy and ready to act if something out of the ordinary so, happens. So, uh, Kai sees that Dretton isn't uh, harmed or anything with those uh, fly thingies. Yeah, is it so? No, <laughs> did you catch what I said, Hockey? Sure. Uh, what did you say? I uh, I was flabbergasted and yelled that I'm boring you. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I did catch that. There's no yeah. answer, though. Have the voices stopped repeating? Happening? Yes. Yeah. yeah the, vo the whispers have stopped completely for you. Everybody else still hears that constant hiss in the background. Uh hmm. So uh, as I see that Dretton is uh, unharmed with the uh, within that uh, light, uh, I'm gonna walk up, uh, up to it again and put uh, both of my hands over it, like okay. as I did before. Okay, nothing happens with your left hand since there's no lights around it anymore. 
um, and your your wrist guard gets sort of uncomfortably warm after a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't like that, and I'm gonna back off again. Okay. Are you guys oh boy. still hearing things? Reed nod and said, "Yes, there's something hissing in my ears. I really yeah, think okay. you should get out of there." I'll rumble to a solid noise. Not sure what that means. You probably don't know what you're doing either. Oh, of course I don't know what I'm doing. I'm Tan Sandfoot. Well, you said you're hearing voices. Talking to yourself. I'm... What I'm are they telling hearing. you? I'm not hearing a single thing. Well, wait, you've been wait, talking wait, to yourself. You're, you're not hearing anything? What were you talking to? I don't know what I was talking to. I think you should get out of that dome. Wait, you, you, you said you were talking to the master of this place. You were talking to... No, I was talking to a servant of some kind. You need to get out of there right now. Yeah, we, we need to leave. Uh, okay, uh, I'm looking at this uh, door mm -hmm. at uh, north of us. Uh, mm -hmm. Is this uh, look uh, like the other doors? Yes, it's got right. the runes on it. All right, I'm going to climb out of the uh, thing now. Okay. You you retreat out, and the light uh, moves with you until you get to the edge, and then sort of it looks like the field is keeping them in, and it, they get scraped off you as you as you pass through. Hmm. I'm very confused as to what just happened. Well, I think I'm going to take a cue from the wizard. A little bit too late. Maybe we should check out that south passage. And uh, Reed's going to kind of look strangely at and before kind of nodding in agreement and heading in that direction as well. We're going to say right about there. Yep, Reed will move right about um, there. Yeah. Okay. All right, to the south. Let me see which room is that. <clears throat> to, the, to the south, uh, you see the hall. Uh, Kai's already been down there, and I think LSR they've explored. Um, there's a door at the other end of the Where junction there at the turn. Yep. And it has the same set of runes on it. Okay, so, okay. okay gotcha. Before okay, uh, right they there. move on to there, mm -hmm. uh, I press on uh, Spirit and Death on this door here, over here, right now. Okay. Outside. Spirit lights up blue, and then when you press uh, Death, it lights up blue for half a second, and then blinks red once. No, that's okay. not the right answer. Here. <laughs> I guess it's uh, me and Reed and Anne Wall. <laughs> well, Reed, you want to take a crack at this thing? Triton, you want to try it? I have an idea. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to walk over and I'm going to try Spirit and Space. Okay. You, uh, you touch spirit, it lights up blue. You touch space, and it lights up blue for half a second and blinks red twice. Oh, I was wrong for once. <laughs> uh, and then Reed kind of shakes his head at uh, um, Adrix, saying, I have no idea what it is, but I really don't want to get it wrong, and I don't really like this place. I don't want to make us well, more time in here. How about this? One try for you, one try for me, and then we'll go get the help of that cocky sand foot back there that always gets it right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, they are a good, like, 30 feet away. That's about right. Yeah. So, I'm gonna move up, and I only remember, really remember the ones that uh, I pressed already, so I remember pushing matter, so we'll click on that one. Okay, lights up blue. And... Uh, prime. Let's try that. Matter and Prime? Yeah. Okay. Uh, prime lights up blue for half a second, and they both light up red once. All right. Once. Your turn, bud. Uh, Reed, Reed's going to think for a second. said, well, Chan said he got the previous two right by basing it what's on what's in the room, right? Right, well... If you don't count what's past the L bend here, we got nothing over here. So well, no, he. What would a giant blue the, hologram be? The first one, it was unveil prime. Prime means one. Prime means first. So open the first door. Mm -hmm. The second one was uh, 
what was what was the second one, guys? It was time and life. Okay, so the second one was time and life. That was where those statues so that's were. Statues were like creatures frozen in time, maybe. So it's what's in the room. Well, this room was Dratan was talking to something, maybe like a spirit. So, mind. It's well, those things keep in mind. Really talking in his mind. Keep in mind, you are about a hundred feet away from them at this point. Yeah, it's around it's, a corner. Uh, okay, oh, okay, okay. It's Adrian can read yeah. right now. It's all good. Here, we, we, we can we oh, can type fine. so you guys can keep doing things because uh, Reed's gonna try to puzzle this out. Yeah, I don't want to press the passive, next one. What's your passive perceptions, you two? Uh, for me, Adric's looking at 12. Uh, uh 11. Oh, okay. Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let, I'll let them start talking. I'm gonna start typing, so that way I can reason this out. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm gonna point at, uh, like, point at Zixo and, uh, like, uh, hey Ben, uh, what do you think? Uh, why should we try over here? Uh, we have got like maybe one more chance left. Well, Dratan had an idea, but it was it was wrong. But for that door, and the only idea was had was to use Dratan's idea, but on the door that leads us. <laughs> okay. Because otherwise, to me, it's just a guess. I, I was not able to crack the first two. I don't think I'm going to crack the second one. Uh, I mean, the third one. Everybody who's looking at a door, roll a perception check. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because we were stuck in your. I was. I was kind of curious if something like this was going to come up. That this one thing I know is that I don't have good wisdom at all. Say, hey, man, that's a door. Oh, hey. <laughs> Reed does it again. <laughs> Reed gets a little bit of dust in his eye as he's looking. Oh, hey, what does Adric get? There we go. All right, crit. Zixo. And Adric, you both realize that though the doors and the runes look very similar, um, the runes are reversed on these sides. The runes are going the other way. Okay, so in unveil circle. would be on the far right. Oh, it's in a circle. It's a yeah. The 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 runes have been in a circle on the doors. This okay. these doors on these sides that you're looking at are going the other way, as if they're inside. As if it, the inside of the door is mirroring the outside. Hmm, so, well, I'll read them. Yeah, actually taking a close look at this, and ain't that a... I don't remember that squiggly one with the C on it being on the far... I think these are flipped. Reed kind of looks a little bit closer before... Uh... Nodding a little bit, but doesn't seem like he necessarily remembers as much. Yeah, so w which two did you want to try? I'll see if I can punch it in for you. Wait, flipped. Wait, if they're... If they're flipped... Hmm. Well, you know, if, if, if it's flipped... If you're on a... If you're on a door on the opposite side of the door, the, ha the uh, handle's the other way around. All right. Well, that's what I was trying to tell you is that we looked at the door. Oh, wait, so you're saying I'm looking again, there's what? In with your with your 18 perception roll, you see a small depression in the middle of the door. And I'm there's guessing... No yes, the door, the door behind you has a small depression. There's no runes in a circle like all the other doors, but this, this side has a small depression. Okay. Should give it some love. <laughs> what could we down here for fucking ever trying to figure out this damn thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the other two times I've gotten it right, it was just based on like wild guesses. <laughs> okay, now, guys, there is the other thing if people want to volunteer and stand on those circles. I mean, if you want to get teleported into space or, or your soul sucked out of you or something, but. Adric would be really more than important. happy to, but he's not yeah, around to hear that, so... Uh, Hockey... I don't know if you want to use the same perception on this one, but Reed would want to kind of look a little bit and just see if he can see which ones have been touched the most? Barring any other Ooh. ideas? So that would okay. be more of an Roll investigation? In. Sorry, what would you like, Hockey? Investigation. Okay. 
Let's let's splinter sell this up a little bit. <laughs> Come on. The legend of Reed. <laughs> um you're not able to really tell. That's a shame. Uh, well, Reed, we might need to know what's on the other side of this door. And shit, I don't know how to get over there. Seeing as how the thing in the middle reacted nicely to me, I'm going to step on one of these things. Okay. The uh, the green bands light up. Well, we got lights, and I'm not dying. Good news. <coughs> Who's next? I'm gonna step on the other one. Bitch. <laughs> okay. I'm like, As Alisa, you step on uh, that. are you sure you want to do that? He already did it. Yep. Um, as as you step on it, those green lights light up and you hear a loud thrumming come from back down the hallway and from sort of all around you. But it sputters and the light, the green lights are flickering. Um, before anybody can do anything, the door to the east slams open, and you see blackness. This oh! gentleman, ah, guys, ah. and in your mind, LSR, you hear, "Step off." <laughs> Okay, yeah. you just guys, woke someone guys, up from their beauty quickly sleep. Quickly step off. Oh. Guy's already pale and he I'm, has I'm, lost I'm, I'm all listening. his color. I'm okay. listening to him. Uh, I'm listening to him. Hold still. Everybody hold still. Right. Okay, um, the lights turn off and the thrumming stops. And um, this figure regards you all. Uh, hockey, can we? Can uh, me and Adric assume that we get a few seconds to move? Uh, what's happening? What? You, if you heard the like drumming. You guys can be. Yeah. You guys can be heading back okay, now. Yeah. Take, Adric took yeah. the corner and saw Dritten hop yeah, off. Of I'm the gonna plate. take my 30 feet and sag it here. <laughs> what is You're it like to combat? You say hi to okay. move. Yeah. Hi. Adric, can I move a little uh, yeah. away from that creature? Oh, like that. Tree, uh, sure. Guys, really scared out of. Shit, bro, what just happened? In in your minds, um, you hear this sort of tenderly whispering voice, um, and he speaks to all of you. What are you doing here? Uh, we're coming for milk and eggs. God, <laughs> God damn it. A voice speaks just to you, Dratani, says, I know why you are. Well, yeah, of if course, you do I not know. And around this point, Reed's just going to kind of pop over here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. oh. <laughs> Your chest. Yeah, that looks painful. Because I'm here for a lot of different reasons. The actual, like, one of the, the public reason is because we're hunting down an evil voice. But there are other reasons, too. Forces you are messing with. I don't know the forces that I can deal with, dude. Uh, you are better off leaving this place. Probably, but I don't think we're leaving. Well, then maybe I can make use of you. Everybody make an intelligence saving throw. Uh, here we go. Fun, fun, fun. I just wanted to go with my friend. Yay! I don't go crazy. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 Yay! Uh, that is stupid oh, God luck. Damn it. <laughs> nice Why job, guys. Three twelves, a two, a twenty, and a twenty-one. I have like I've gotten nothing above what eight in the past couple of rolls. Yeah, it's okay. pretty rough. Everybody but Adric and Zixo, mm. you are suffering from vivid hallucinations, and you have a disability on ability checks. Like when we say the vivid. voice. Vivid, um, like, like whatever your worst fears or your wor or your you know your most okay. uh, desirous thoughts or whatever, something that is completely confusing you and distracting you. Don't be spiders. Guy, 
Like, are, just to make <laughs> sure we're talking. Just, had him just visual auditory runs mix, into the corner everything. and covers. Vivid, as in it's like overpowering. It, can, yeah, yeah okay. visible auditory. To the point where you still know what's going on uh, around That's you. That's what I was. Checking. But there's there's enough outside stimuli. That it's confusing your senses. Okay, that's what I want. So Reed okay. probably sees me turn into a spider. Nope. Or something. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spiders are not involved. <laughs> oh. Let me oh, guess. Everything's on fire, and your loved ones are dying. That sounds a bit more par for the course. That's gonna be that's close. It. Is that, should we be rolling initiative at this point? Um, he hasn't attacked yet. That's oh, it. That was that was not an attack. Okay. No, that was an environmental. That was something that happened through the environment. I'm going to start hurling. Z Throwing up? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Zixon, if, you, if you would like to attack, we can roll, you know, you can get your your attack in uh, and we can do initiative. I want my I want my party to be on board with that. If they have other ideas, they should move forward with them before combat. Okay. Um, well, Zixo, uh, we're the, the only uh, ones on, <laughs> not off the loony bane, so... Yeah. The Too voice again loony. enters all of your minds. And he says, there have been others who have served not so faithfully. I have dealt with them, but if you serve me well, then perhaps I can get out of here and leave you to your devices. None of us will be swearing any kind of Where loyalty you to you. Go? I am from a different place. What do you need I, to leave? I need to take my vessel and leave what do you need to make it uh, travel i need life energy life essence whose life okay, okay. any life essence Plant so life essence? far does does uh does uh dark energy works for you like evil energy no i need life energy i don't know if it's <laughs> I'm gonna ask yeah, him I'm how would we alive. how would Actually, we get that from you? Excuse me, I I have something I'd like to try with you, strange one. I'd like to approach you if that'd be okay with you. Okay. He's not saying anything. There, there's gonna be a whimper right. as you pass. Well, I'm a. <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> oh, not gonna have nothing. anything to do with you, but it's gonna it's happen. The emphasis on life energy. I'd like to uh, I'd like to see if casting a cure wounds on him will satisfy his hunger in the slightest. No, I say stop it. You're going to cast Cure Wounds on him? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Already did. Five. Okay. What was the purpose of that? <laughs> well, as a man of, the, as man of the cloth, my basic understanding is that this brings life back to others. I want to see if that could set your hunger off for a while. It's well, not it me. It's my vessel. Mm. Take a step back. Does anyone smell my aunt's cooking? <laughs> and I can, can I can I ask him like what would he require to get the vessel back on track? I need a, a subject who I can siphon the life essence from. Uh, basically, guys, he wants a sacrifice, and I am against against that. It's going to be complete complete coincidence, um, but about this time, you're going to hear Reed from the back yell something to the effect of, No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been wanting to say that for the past two minutes, but... <laughs> but now's a good time. It may have been if more panic. If you will not help me, then I will force one of you. I can take it from you easily enough. I shoot fireball. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> oh Wait, god! Hold on, hold on. Let me clear this and then roll initiative. Okay, now roll initiative. I shoot fireball. <laughs> oh boy, that was so fucking casual. I did it again. Oh, I'll well, just okay. shoot fireball. Fuck this guy, man. Hey, I'm still last. Uh, hockey, can you remind me Probably. what what are we uh oh. what are we taking um not last. I'm still last, he says. What what are we taking what bad we... rolls on again? Uh, oh, ability, ability checks. Right? Ability oh, ability checks. checks. Okay. 
So did that saying, firebolt saying. count? Yep, he took his 10 damage. Uh, he reeled back a little bit, and um, the full force of his psionic power uh, bears down upon... Let me see here. Gee, who's it going to be? I tried to help you, you know. Find an alternative. <laughs> Make you go vegan. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Oh my goodness. 